Thank you for joining us for this week's Redline Report powered by HireMaster. I'm Shasta Jones. On today's episode, we are reviewing trucking bills in Congress, the future of robots and automation, and more. Multiple pieces of legislation were introduced in the U.S. House of Representatives last week that addressed key issues facing the trucking industry, including workforce development, lawsuit abuse, and supply chain challenges. At the top of the list is expanding veterans' access to CDL programs. The solution to this is the Veteran Improvement Commercial Driver License Act. This would remove this unnecessary two-year wait period that deters the expansion of CDL programs, which would help the industry's driver shortage immensely. ATA President and CEO Chris Spear stated in the American Trucking Association's article, quote, when the brave men and women in our armed forces return home, the last thing they should have to worry about is red tape preventing them from realizing the American dream that they fought to defend, end quote. We will continue to watch these proposals as they develop in Congress and keep you updated. The idea of a robot sounds very futuristic and AI is all the buzz right now. So it's no surprise more and more operators are investing in robotic measures to get the job done. This more advanced strategy is showing ways to overcome not only our workforce shortage, but also our supply chain issues. The idea of robots sounds great, but since they work 24-hour shifts without drawing a paycheck or taking a vacation, but they also require close to a $1 million capital investment. Omar Rashid, Vice President of Operational Excellence in Automation, Innovation and Analytics for DHL Supply Chain stated in the Transport Topics article, quote, when you think about the old days of automation, it was pretty rigid, but that's where robotics has helped us. It's really about automated mobile robots, which are less heavy duty, so they handle smaller payloads of 40 to 60 pounds. They can navigate through our warehouses safely, end quote. It looks like the world is learning and adapting to AI-based tools that would oversee more automation, so we can't wait to see what the future holds for our ever-changing industry. Are you noticing your hiring needs are going outside the realm of drivers lately? If you answered yes to that question, let HireMaster strategic team help you fill your non-driver positions as well. HireMaster's capabilities range from drivers to mechanics and everything in between. Talk to your HireMaster account rep today to expand your hiring needs. Volume is starting to pick up at the end of April, but freight demand in the overall quarter has been mostly flat. Since the produce season was impacted by severe winter storms and flooding, what we are seeing is to be expected. The feelings from carriers confirmed what data had been showing for the past year. Mainly weak truckload volumes and a sharp decline in imports are pushing top carriers to title this next season a freight recession, which is a term we continue to hear. While it is true that diesel prices have been on a steady decline since February, the cost of fuel is expected to rise just in time for the busy summer travel season. To read more of freight findings, check out FreightWaves.com. When was the last time you discussed your brand? If you're not sure what your brand is exactly, HireMaster can help you discover new ideas, fresh approaches, building on core values while implementing modernized campaigns. Reach out to your HireMaster rep for a brand discussion. Thank you for joining us for this week's Redline Report. I'm Shasta Jones. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to catch each episode of the Redline Report powered by HireMaster. See you next week.